My name is Lisa Calandro, and I'm the Director of Human Identification Professional Services here at Thermo Fisher Scientific. And I'm also a member of the U.S. Technical Advisory Group, tasked with providing input into ISO 18385, which is the latest industry benchmark in forensic quality manufacturing. At Thermo Fisher Scientific, especially with regard to making products for forensic DNA analysis, we've always maintained the highest level of quality. What ISO 18385 does is it addresses a gap in the industry right now where there is no such specification regarding human DNA contamination. So it provides those requirements for a manufacturing environment as well as the criteria for testing products coming out of that environment so that across the industry uh, this benchmark will have to be achieved. At Thermo Fisher Scientific, we've made a significant investment across all aspects of our manufacturing process and are proud to announce that our facilities have met the draft ISO 18385 requirements. So the majority of our products for forensic DNA analysis are made at our manufacturing facility in Warrington in the UK. The Warrington facility has over 15 years of clean PCR product manufacturing experience. They're also accredited to a number of internationally recognized standards such as ISO 9001 and ISO 13485. So it would have been easy to certify ourselves to take the draft standard, to review it and compare it with our own quality standards. Uh, we went outside to get an external assessment, an independent assessment, because we thought that was a stronger test of our capabilities to certify against 18385. That's come back, that's been successful. The, the external consultant has uh, confirmed that we have the capacity and the capability to certify to 18385. One very important process that we've implemented in Warrington is called a one-way flow process. And what that effectively means is that an operator will move from a very clean environment to potentially less clean environments with regard to DNA, but they will never move back in the opposite direction. And that's really designed to minimize any potential risk of contaminating products with human cellular material. We're just in the process of actually installing our fifth robots and basically we'll have more in the, the forthcoming months. They're replacing people touching products, mainly in the filling operations, and to that extent, all our filling operations for the HID products are now human free. They're all fully automated using full, fully automated filling systems. So once a product is actually made clean, it's actually kept clean throughout the entire process and ultimately going to be ending up in the finished product with a, with a minimal of human interaction. We also perform very extensive quality control testing not only of the finished goods, but of intermediate products along the way. So raw materials all the way through the finished good are constantly checked to ensure that the product is free of human DNA and meeting the needs of the forensic analyst. The environments themselves are constantly monitored for the presence of any extraneous DNA in the environment to ensure that the environment remains as clean as it needs to be for forensic DNA product manufacturing. We at Thermo Fisher Scientific have a very long-standing relationship with our forensic customers. Um, we take this market very seriously. We take quality very seriously. This, this is, a, is a great achievement, achieving 18385. We're not going to stop. Basically, we're continuously our challenge in ourselves and actually investing in the facility to make the product range a better quality, more consistent, and human DNA free.